Hey guys, it's Pilar Newman and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to find undervalued stocks in the market using the Stock Invest US tool. This tool I'm sharing with you not only helps me discover undervalued stocks, but it also helps me figure out a good entry point to buy a stock by providing the technical analysis for me. Ultimately, this tool can serve as a guide for non-technical investors such as myself and based on your specific investment strategy, it can also help cut down your research time in finding stocks to buy now by offering up-to-date lists based on various technical indicators. Now, if you don't have a Stock Invest account, then I will place my partner link underneath this video. There you'll be able to register for a free account, but also if you want to gain access to all the premium stuff not included with the free membership, then you'll also have an opportunity to get a free 14-day trial Again, simply check underneath this video for the link. So what determines if a stock is undervalued? Well, it depends on who you ask. If you ask Warren Buffett, his definition of value investing is looking for securities that are unjustifiably low based on their intrinsic worth. Some of the parameters can include looking at a company's performance, company debt, and profit margins. If you ask Kathy Wood of ARK Investments, then she'll give you a different set of parameters to assess the value of the growth and tech companies she invests in, many of which have yet to show any profits whatsoever. And then again, if you ask a day trader what an undervalued stock is, well, they may tell you what that looks like on a daily stock trading chart or hourly chart based on technical analysis parameters with no regard to actual company fundamentals. But not to worry, there are general guidelines you can follow to determine whether a stock is undervalued or not. Some of these include price to earnings ratio this is calculated by dividing the price of the stock by the annual earnings or profits a low pe may indicate that the stock is undervalued while a high pe can mean that a stock is overvalued price to growth ratio this is calculated by dividing the stock's price to earnings ratio by the growth rate of its earning over a specific period of time Price to book ratio. This is calculated by dividing the share price by equity per share. This reflects the value of the company related to the assets the company owns. And debt to equity ratio. This ratio compares a company's total liabilities to its shareholders' equity and can be used to evaluate how much leverage a company is using. Higher leverage ratios tend to indicate a company with higher risk to shareholders. This is just some of the indicators you can use to determine whether a company is undervalued or not. Why do some stocks become undervalued? There are many reasons for this to happen. Sometimes it could be that a company had a bad earnings report that caused its stock to tumble. Other times it can be overall economic conditions, such as inflation. Or in other cases, it can be due to a new state or country regulatory law that will cause a stock to fall. For example, we recently saw a drastic change in market sentiment during the 2020 global health crisis that caused many stocks to become undervalued. Valued. Actual company fundamentals did not change, but market sentiment did. Buying almost any stock during this period of time can be compared to buying a new iPhone at a 40% discount. Who wouldn't want that sort of discount? For anyone fortunate enough to have purchased undervalued stocks during the 2020 market collapse, they were able to see massive returns on their investments. But situations such as what transpired in 2020 are rare occurrences. Finding undervalued stocks on a regular basis under fairly normal market conditions take a little more time and effort to do. But once you find these stocks, you'll be happy you took the time to dig a little deeper to find them. I've been asked quite often how I find undervalued stocks for this portfolio and other portfolios I own. I'm going to openly share my strategies with you here. Please remember that this is for educational purposes only and that investing in the stock market involves risk. So definitely assess your level of risk prior to investing in the stock market. 
My strategy is a simple one. I first get an understanding of the fundamentals of a company to determine whether there is opportunity for future growth and profit. And then I do a little stock technical analysis with the help of the Stock Invest US tool. The reason I do my analysis in this order is because it makes no sense to invest in a bad company, no matter what the technical indicators are telling me. If a company has bad fundamentals with no future growth in sight, then there is very little reason for the stock to go up up and it justifies the low stock price. And also, I'm not interested in gambling in the stock market using only technical indicators for a quick potential pop in the stock's price. The potential short-term gains do not outweigh the risk in my opinion. My primary focus is on the company fundamentals since most of my holdings are for long-term gains. How to find stocks to evaluate. I do this in two ways. I use the Stock Invest US tool RSI 21 tab to find stocks that are at the bottom of the trend line with increased chances of having a reaction back up. Another way in which I find stocks to evaluate is by simply being an avid reader and consumer of financial and educational information. Once I find worthy stocks to evaluate, I create a watch list using my Robinhood account. Then I go through the task of learning about each stock one by one. Let's first take a look at how I use the RSI 21 tab in the Stock Invest US tool to build an initial watch list. According to the Stock Invest tool, the Relative Strength Index, or the RSI, is a momentum indicator that measures the days of upturns and downturns during a specific period. For example, RSI 14 is for 14 days and RSI 21 is for 21 days. The idea is very simple and the indicator was originally developed by J. Wells Wilder. If a stock is moving up or down too many days in a row, the chances of an opposite reaction increase. However, when is a stock really oversold or overbought? To solve this question, Wilder, who was a machine engineer, turned to mathematics and created the RSI formula, which gives a score between 0 to 100. He later assigned values under 30 as oversold and above 70 as overbought. In the Stock Invest US tool, this is normally marked as red for the price line of overbought and green for the price line of oversold. This is simply one stock indicator, so please don't rush to making purchase decisions on using just this. You will quickly lose money that way. Stocks can be oversold or overbought for many months before reversing course. I mainly use the RSI 21 to help me find stocks which are towards the bottom of the hill. When you check the stocks under the RSI 21 tab, you'll have access to all the stocks in Stock Invest database that meet the RSI 21 criteria. By the way, the Stock Invest US tool evaluates over 30,000 stocks. The Rollins Inc. pest control company is one such stock found within the RSI 21 list. And because I'm familiar with this company, since it's a big name around here, and I know it to be a solid company, I click over to take a closer look and notice that it is at the bottom of the trend line it's currently on. I add it to my watch list so I can take a further look into it later on to see why it's trading down. Also on this list is Berkeley Lights Inc. It's one of the top holdings in the ETF of famed growth investor Kathy Wood of ARK Investment Funds. So this immediately catches my eye since I am a big fan of Kathy Wood and her investment style. I also add this stock to my watch list to evaluate later. Now, if you are not familiar with some of the stock names on the RSI 21 list, then you may need to spend more time looking into each company and creating a watch list as you go. Another way I mentioned in which I look for stocks to add to my watch list is by being an avid reader of financial publications. This includes both professional type reports from Barron's as well as more sensationalized articles from The Motley Crew and Seeking Alpha. This gives me an idea of what the current market conditions are, how the trends are looking, and what stocks would be good to get into right now for future gains. This is how I found Alibaba as a great undervalued stock to buy and one that I featured not long ago as one of my top five stocks to buy now on my YouTube channel. How to pick good stocks? 
Once you've created a watch list of stocks to look into, it's time to evaluate your picks and find the winning stocks with the lowest amount of risk and highest potential of future returns. Since there are so many parameters to evaluate stocks, choosing the stocks right for you will depend greatly on your investment strategy as well as your level of risk tolerance. Looking at the three stocks found earlier in this video, I now have three stocks on my watch list to assess. These include Berkeley Lights, Alibaba, and the Rollins Pest Control Company. After doing my research on the Rollins Company, I take note that the company has been growing by way of acquisitions and has so far been able to successfully integrate many of the companies they've purchased into their existing ecosystem. They've experienced 12 consecutive years of reporting higher revenues and earnings. They were one of the few super resilient companies during the 2020 global crisis as many people refused to cancel their in-home pest control related appointments. During the downturn of 2020, they they launched Orkin Vital Clean to address some of their losses in their commercial services business, which accounts for 38% of its revenue. They are a seasonal company with spikes during the beginning of the year when pests are more prevalent. Their termite revenue also increased 18% from a year ago and experienced one of the fastest growths they've seen in six years. In the short term, their balance sheet was hit in the 2020 health crisis, as well as many one-time costs involving new acquisitions and launching a new product line. Rollins also has annual dividends, which they temporarily cut to strengthen their balance sheet after the 2020 hit. They are in no way in danger of going bankrupt, and the company has a solid growth strategy with strong fundamentals. When assessing their current price, the Rollins company trades at 70 times trailing earnings and 55 times next year's earnings, which is very high. While I do very much like the company, I do not see a lot of upside buying it at the current price it's at now, but I leave the stock on my watch list in the event the price continues to fall into the mid $20 range to where I would consider it again. This I would not deem as an undervalued stock. I do the same type of research for Alibaba and find this to be one of the most undervalued stocks in the industry by all accounts. Alibaba is often referred to as the Amazon of China. They have strong company fundamentals and an explosive growth runway for hefty future gains. The recent hard pullback on the company stock has come amid China regulatory headwinds on their big tech companies, as well as the new accountant requirement demands from the US of China companies. So there is inherent risk when considering the stock, but the upside potential is so much greater than its downside risk. Currently, Alibaba trades at 25 times trailing earnings compared to Amazon's PE ratio of 60 times. This low valuation even caught the eye of Warren Buffett's longtime friend and business partner, Charlie Munger. After not making a new stock purchase in six years to his daily journal portfolio, Munger recently took up a large stake in Alibaba. I consider this stock a highly undervalued stock. Then there is Berkeley Lights, Inc. This one takes a bit more of a gut decision because it is a speculative growth stock and is a high risk, high reward stock. Berkeley Lights provides cell research services to customers such as pharmaceutical and biotech companies. Their core technology allows researchers to do cell assays in a matter of hours, which previously would have taken weeks to do. In fact, antibodies identified by Berkeley Lights Beacon System ended up going into an AstraZeneca therapeutic drug that helps to attack the 2020 virus we encountered. Berkeley Lights is still unprofitable, but they have been showcasing tremendous growth, growing at about 20% in the prior year, with expected growth to accelerate to 48% this year, much greater than its peers in the industry. Additionally, Berkeley Lights recently released its subscription-based access program and signed their first customers. Even though they are spending a lot of money, they are doing so in order to accelerate growth and they are in fact growing. So I do find this to be a good opportunity to get in on the stock now with the recent severe market correction. So is this stock undervalued? I would say that this beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It involves a lot of assumptions of future growth, but personally, I'm digging their growth story and results so far. Based on the stock assessments above, I have found Alibaba to be my best stock pick choice, followed by Berkeley Lights, the Rollins Pest Control Company I will leave on my watch list since it's currently overvalued, but worth picking up later on if it continues to drop further. 
Finding the right entry point for your stock picks. The stock market can be an irrational place and picking a good entry point to purchase your new stock pick is not always cut and dry. This is where I use a combination of methods to help me figure out when to buy into a new stock. The first and simplest way I start is by simply eyeing where a stock is in regards to the hill it's currently traveling on. If it's only midway down the hill, then there is a chance it will continue to fall further before reversing course. This is where I use the stock invest tool to gauge my initial position at different reference points along the hill. When I first caught wind of the stock opportunity back at the end of February, I made my initial buy based on the support levels shown in the stock invest tool. As you can see here, I eased my way into purchasing Alibaba shares. My first stock purchase came in February 22nd of 2021, where I purchased four shares for an average cost price of $256 with 40 cents. But of course, no stock tool nor person can actually predict when a stock is going to stop falling or stop going up. That is when I continue to look at the stock invest tool and get an idea of where where the next support level is going to be so that I can go ahead and make my next purchase into the stock. This is where it's important to continue reading the stock analysis that Stock Invest Tool gives to us. And this is all free, by the way. But as you can see here, it gives me different areas of support as well as resistance points. So I know that these next levels are potential new buy points where I can continue buying into the Alibaba stock. And that's exactly what I did here. As you can see here, I eased my way into purchasing Alibaba stock. I was very very patient and bought at different support points. And my last purchase was on May 13, 2021. And that will be my last purchase because as you can see here, I've now made this stock about 22% of the weight of this portfolio. Now, let me continue showing you a little bit more of the stock invest tool. These gray bars that you see here are support levels. These are the areas where a lot of people have bought the stock. And so these end up being a form of support level, or if it goes under, they end up being resistant levels where the stock tends to stop, maybe take a bounce down and then bounce back up. So these are all support levels. The longer these gray bars are, the more support that there is at that level. So these tend to be good areas to purchase. And the Alibaba stock did recently fall right over here at about 209. And this is where I ended up making my last purchase of this stock. So how do I proceed from this point on? Well, even if the Alibaba stock does continue to fall down into the 180s, I will simply be patient and hold on to my position. My plan here is to sell off five shares of this Alibaba stock once it reaches a point of about 250 or maybe $270. I will take that money and those profits and reinvest it into another undervalued stock. The important thing to note here is that this works with undervalued stocks where you typically would expect a reaction back up buying into a stock in this manner where you are able to lower your average per share is a great way to get into an undervalued stock and make massive gains on the run back up. Here's just one example of how this strategy works and how exerting patience will actually get you a lot more gains in the long run. Back in February of 2019, I purchased 75 shares of Canopy Growth at a share price of $17.84. I held onto those shares and then when the stock price shot up to $53.60 in February of 2021, I sold 40 shares for a really massive gain on those shares. Now, why didn't I sell all of my shares? Well, the point for me here is really to hold on to these high growth share stocks so I can go ahead and realize higher gains in the future. I simply repeat this process over and over again, and that's how I'm able to get all these gains while still keeping intact the growth stocks that I am very bullish on so I can go ahead and see more gains in the future.
Having a stock invest account has really helped me out in terms of finding these undervalued stocks and determining at what point I should be buying in. But being a premium member has its other perks. You can see the top five buys on each list if you are a premium member. Now, Stock Invest did run a test and they chose the top five stocks of every list that they have. After four months, it returned an over 42% return gains. Now, you also have access to all these other premium features such as finding possible runners. These are stocks that really can start running uh, very quickly and give you a lot of gains in a short period of time. It's also a high risk strategy. Now there's also this other thing called the golden star. Now these are very particular stocks that can have a very long run up for a long period of time and really give you more gains. Now I have used the golden star feature on multiple occasions to find multiple winners. Some of them take a little bit of time to actually see the winners through, but it's worked very well for me. You'll also have all sorts of other features in the premium account. Now, if you currently don't have a stock invest account, you get to sign up today for free. Simply look underneath this YouTube video for the link. And if you upgrade to the premium account, you'll also get a free 14 day trial to test out the premium account. Guys, if you've enjoyed the content of this video, please do me a huge favor. Go ahead, give me a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more information just like this. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.